triangle JGR is similar to triangle MST, which statement is not always true? Okay, so JGR is similar to triangle MST. So you have to understand the uh, notations for describing congruent objects as well as similar objects. Uh, so notice that we have triangle JGR is similar to triangle MST. The order of the letters matter because the two triangles here are similar, all the corresponding uh, vertices must match. What does that mean? So if I were to draw this out, so I'm going to call this J, G, R, and this is similar to, I'm going to try to draw a similar triangle in shape, okay, but smaller. This is M, S, T. The letters must correspond. So J corresponds with M, G corresponds with S, and R corresponds with T. Right? So these all must correspond. And, you know, me labeling the, um, the third angle in each of these triangles here is a little redundant because uh, to, for, for two triangles to be similar, all we need is just two angles to be congruent, right? Two corresponding pairs of angles to be congruent. Anyway, so the, the question here is not asking for which angles are congruent, but rather it's asking for which statement is not true, right? So let's take a look. Uh, I, for, uh, for one, uh, is not a huge fan of these questions where they're asking for not. That means I have to go through each option, which is something that you're going to have to do. You have to read through each option. Whereas if they're asking for what is true, you can just sort of like fish for it, right? So we're going to have to read through each option here. So J congruent to M, that is true. So this is true. Uh, G congruent to T. That is not true. G does not correspond to T, right? So this is our answer here. Does R correspond with T? That absolutely does. G corresponds with S? That absolutely does. So option two here is the only one that is not true.